All right, so today I'm going to be going over how to use the Google Data Store emulator and get it so that on your local environment without actually having to interact with your actual Google Data Store database, you can uh, add entities to your database, retrieve them, and uh, interact with them, and then also view all of them using Google Data Store Viewer. It used to be that back in the day uh, with Python 2, we were able to do dev underscore app server dot pi, and it would do all this for us in a one-stop shop but that's no longer the case uh, with Python 3. So we have to actually piece together a bunch of things. And there's not a lot of documentation out on about uh, data store. The documentation's uh, right here, and I'll, I'll post this in the comments of the, of the YouTube video. So that's, that's really about it right there, and it, it doesn't get into using it, and there's, currently no YouTube videos out there about it or anything. And it's actually, uh, you have to piece together a bunch of things and figure out a lot of stuff on your own to get it to work. But now you don't if you're watching this video. So uh, a lot of people on YouTube like to take the time and type out all the stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to post the uh, code in the comment section, maybe add a GitHub, I don't know. But anyway, so what you what you have to do to get it to work and it, and it works with uh, Google NDB. Uh, there are no SQL database for Python three. And, and uh, Google data store. The documentation doesn't talk about using Google NDB, but it does work. So anyway, the first thing you have to do is import your Google Cloud NDB. And then I use Web App 3 for Flask. Um, you also have to you know, import Flask if you're, if you're using Flask and everything. Uh, but I use Web App 3, which converts Web App 2 syntax, all this syntax, you know, self -response write and using classes and everything. So you can use the same syntax that was in Web App 2 for um, Python 3, since Web App 2 doesn't work on Python 3. Uh, Web App 3 is actually a module I wrote. But anyway, uh, you're going to have to import mock, import uh, OS, and Google auth credentials. And then you're going to have to uh, paste all these. You're going to have to put all this right here, all this OS and Byron, you know, blah, 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 uh, on the file uh, that you're using. And once you uh, do all and that, you're also going to have to paste your your credentials, you know, mock dot mock. And then the only thing you're really going to have to change is instead of just using NDB client like you would for if you're really interacting with your database and the you know with client context and everything, you're going to uh, put this project test and credentials equals credentials, which pulls from this mock credentials. And again, that none of that was on Google's uh, documentation about using mock. That's just a workaround uh, that I did. But anyway, so then at that point, then you can just use your Google database just like normal, where uh, you use your NDB entity. So I'll pull my NDB file. So you, you don't really need to even do anything with your regular NDB files, uh, your NDB models. Uh, you can just uh, use whichever ones you're, you've been using without, without adding anything. And then, so I did a little test uh, program thing right here that just, so when you go to test, which, and, and again, this is using web app three, like you can also use regular regular Flask. Um, 
and just do like a you know your your app dot route root instead of the web app three uh, stuff. But anyway, so once you've done that. The first thing, once, once you've got all this stuff added into your code, uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is do pip install data store viewer, and I'll put that in the comments. And then uh, after you've done pip install data store viewer, I recommend redoing your requirements and uh, doing your, your pip install that uh, uh, pip install dash r uh, requirements dot text because data when I added data store viewer it then altered some of my uh, it, it changed the versions and the versions I had didn't work uh, but I, I did ran requirements text again and that got it working uh, so just after doing that just reinstall whatever requirements you have. You don't need to add the data store viewer to your requirements uh, for your, your Google Cloud project because it's not going, you're not going to be using it in your actual production. It's just for local. So then just text. Uh, so just throw that in your in your terminal. So uh, then once you've done that, you're going to have to actually use three different terminals. Uh, so for Mac, uh, you're going to use uh, export. So actually, let's just get this in the right order. So the first thing you're going to have to do is start your emulator. Oh, I only skipped uh, that you also have to uh, install your emulator. So you're going to run gcloud components install data store emulator in your terminal. in your terminal you would just you know run that i've already ran it so i'm not going to run it again once you've done that then you can just turn your emulator on by running this code right here And so now you've got your data store emulator running. Then you're going to have to go to a new terminal. And you can add a new terminal by just adding this, you know, this plus right here. And at that point, then so skip normally if you were going to be interacting working locally, but you wanted to work with your real database, you'd have to do the Google um application credentials and and do that you're not going to do that oh it's and it's set for pc versus export for mac uh, so then go ahead and turn your now that you've got your emulator running go ahead and turn your uh, flask local environment running and you can also do uh, Python main.py when you're in your directory, but I like to use the last development environment. All right, so then when that's running, so now let's go look at this test file. So 
or you just go to your local host 2701 uh, <clears throat> 5000 and you can get there too by if you're doing flask by just command clicking and it'll pull up the terminal and then go to test so what I have this code doing is it's just creating an entity using the basic NDB model, whatever I call this, this one basic for basic information, but whatever NDB model you're creating, it's just creating it, uh, adding, you know, this is a test and putting it in the database. And then I just have it print to the screen uh, with self response dot right. Uh, you know, this is a test that's been added to your database. So, you know, that happened. If I click refresh, it's going to, you know, add another entity. I've been using this to, this for a while and adding a bunch of stuff. So um, there's going to be other stuff too. But then now if I go to test two, so if I go up here and go to test two, then it pulls all the stuff that's every time I've added, this is a test because I've done it. A bunch of times um, because that's what I'm that's what I'm doing right here I'm gonna do doing NDB GQL you know, Google's version of SQL and uh, just pulling every single entity of name from the test database uh, because you know I've got this project uh, test you know credential uh, credentials uh, using you know, these, these mock credentials. And so that's what this particular little program is doing, but anything that you do with Google data store, or Google NDB is going to work uh, and work like normal just with it. It's not going to pull your old stuff. It's only going to add what you, what, what stuff you add to your local machine. So, just doing those steps, we'll get it so you can emulate data store and, and get it to work and save stuff locally for testing stuff for data store. But you can also then if instead of going to since you, you don't have this right. So like if I go here to my actual data store login and go to this is a test uh, for the name live filters, nothing comes up because it's not inter interacting with my real database. But again, with, you know, when we, back when Python 2, we had dev, dev app server, they had like a fake version of this. But since they don't, now the workaround is using data store viewer. So now let's go ahead and activate data store viewer. First, you're going to uh, we already did pip install data store viewer and then redid the requirements text so that it fixed the stuff that data store viewer changed. So now we've got it running. Um, and then all we have to do is run this line of code to export it in a new terminal. And then, so then if we command click, then it pulls up data store viewer and you just type test because we named the uh, test database test. I might have to refresh it a couple times. Um, and then it pulls up. So this is every time I added, you know, this is a test to, uh, so where's the name? Yeah, name. Uh, this is a test every time I added it. And like here, let's let's change it up. And go ahead and let's make it now. Um, different. All right, 
So now if I go to you know, slash test, adding different stuff's been added to the database, right? Well, let's see about that. I'll go to test two and it's got in there, it's added, adding different stuff. And then if we go to the emulator, I guess that's in Google. Ah, there we go. We go to the emulator and refresh this and see it added the different, another entity. One of them is adding different stuff. So that's the workaround um, to be able to locally test stuff without um, working with your, your real database. And then obviously when you go to, you know, G Cloud app deploy your actual project, you're gonna delete this and you're gonna get rid of uh, this, this right here. So it's probably good to uh, have you know two different projects so you don't have to keep deleting deleting everything and like just have this this one test pro a copy your project that's you know the test version um, so that you're you're working with that as opposed to working with um, you know the one that's going to go to your your actual um, you know, deployment. So, all right, well, that is about it. I think I covered everything. And if you have any questions, just comment it in the comments below.